Welcome back to the Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth course. And in this video, we are going to go over audio and video transitions. Now, you might say, what are transitions? Well, let's go over to Premiere and let's look at a few transitions. On this timeline, I have several different transitions added between each of these clips. That's what these little, uh, small little pink uh, sections are. They're transitions. And let me zoom in a little. And you can see we have a dip to black here, a push, a cube spin, doors, iris round let me get the uh the hand tool here the barn doors the wipe the zoom the cross dissolve the dip to white the stretch the roll away and finally the dip to black now a transition is basically going from one clip to another and it's any type of uh, transition that you use, it will be to change from one clip to another. So let's go ahead and uh, watch some of these transitions. And you notice that the dip to black is a transition because it's going from black to our video. So that is also a transition. But let's just let's just watch this real quick and we'll look at the first few and you'll see what transitions are up here. The dip to black, the push where it pushes it over, the cube roll where it, you can see it's a little bit different, the barn doors there, the iris there, and there's another barn door. Um, I believe this one is a door swing or something like that. But um, you can see you're going from one clip to another. And you're making some type of thing so people know that you're changing from one clip to another. But that brings up the question of what are the most used transitions? Well, I will tell you that the most used transitions are fades. There's a fade to black. There is a... Uh, there's also a fade to white. It's down here somewhere. Here we go. Our fade to white. So it goes up to white and then back down to the new video. Our cross dissolve. And the easiest one to do is just the cut. It just cuts directly from one scene to another. Those are the most used transitions. All of these other ones are used for very specific purposes. Um, some of them are used for children's video to keep them interested. Uh, most of these you will not find in a, uh, a uh, major, say, Hollywood studio. Um, using a lot of transitions is like really it's it's the mark of an amateur. Uh, one that we do see is the iris and the um, the wipe. And the wipe is if you watch the original Star Wars movies, you'll see he used a very slow wipe to go across the the screen to indicate that he was going to another time and another place somewhere else in the galaxy. And the iris is used a lot. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, the iris that they usually use to open or close a scene where it goes not from scene to scene, but from black to scene or scene to black. And I'm going to show that later on in this video, how you would do that. Um, you can do it here, um, where you go from scene to scene, and you would most likely use it if 
whatever you have right in the center of this is um, determinative of what you're trying to spotlight in the video. So a lot of times they will uh, take this um, the iris and they'll move it around to whatever it is that they're supposed to highlight on the video and they can move it around to wherever they want to move it around like if you want to highlight this this mustard down here uh, you can see that we want to just move it to where the um, we want to show the actual sources and we want to move it to where the um, um, where you want to highlight so if you want to highlight um, where she's putting the um, the milk in there you can see that it's highlighting just what you want to highlight and that's something that that it's one of the transitions but um, you you only on most video you'll see the dissolve the cross dissolve uh, the dip to black the dip to white and just the straight cut just a straight uh, jump cut um, anything more than that you have to have a very special case that you want to use it for now the places that you will see uh, specific ones of these um, uh, transitions the dip to black you'll usually see it at the beginning or the ending of a scene um, it gradually brings the viewer into or out of the scene uh, the cross dissolve you'll usually see it on a um, like a a video that you're ending one scene in one location but you want to let people know that the next scene is in another location at about the same time you would use the cross dissolve it would switch over or if you're ending one scene in one location and you wanted to show that you were going to the same location later on in the day or the next day you would use the cross dissolve and the dip to black to show um, a change in scene at the end of a scene or the beginning of a scene you can use it to where it dips to black and then uh, comes up from black if you wanted to show a change from um, one scene and you're going to a different location at a different time you would fade to black and then you would fade in and at the other time and location so the cross dissolve is for same location different time or same time different location and then the fade to black or the fade to white um, the fade to white is usually used for say going from um, one scene to a dream sequence and then back out of the dream sequence uh, there's uh, that's where it's mostly used nowadays and the jump cut is mostly used just in a scene um, between uh, two points in a scene and you're not changing location or time you're just cutting back and forth between say two people speaking to each other so um, those are the most used uh, transitions um, you can use these other ones if you have a very specific reason like George Lucas wanted to have a very slow wipe to show that um, instead of fading to black and then fading out he wanted to just have it as if you're transversing across space during this wipe so he would have a very long wipe that would last about I think it was like four or five seconds um, transitions default in Premiere to uh, one second uh, let me see whether the uh, video transition defaults 30 frames so since I'm working on uh, 
If I was working on NTSC video, I would keep it at 30 frames. If I'm working on PAL video, I would change it to 25. I didn't change it here, even though this video, I believe, is 24 frames a second. So this would be just about one and a sixth seconds because it's um, 30 frames. This goes by frames. And you'll notice the audio transition goes by seconds. So it defaults to one second. And the uh, still image you'll notice here, it defaults to 150 frames. So video transitions and still images, they default to frames. And the audio transition defaults to seconds. So if you um, change this here, any new transition you, you put in will default to the, your new value. It won't go through and change transitions that you've already put on the timeline because it doesn't know if you alter the, the length of time or not. And it doesn't want to move everything around for you. But it will, if you change one of these, from then on, anything that you... Uh, import in the in the case of images or place in the case of transitions will default to whatever you change this to. Uh,